Hi, my name is Kai Luke Brummer and I play Ibn Hreilang uh, in uh, Desert Rose. Um, originally, I was uh, in the state of actually immigrating to the UK um, and I, I wasn't really auditioning for many South African things uh, because I was leaving. Uh, and my agent, Suzanne uh, from Stella Talent, she brought this to me and said, I, I think this is something that you might be interested in. Um, and then I went through, I, I sent a self tape and then I did a call back and kind of went through it the traditional way. Um, you know, every character that I kind of take on, I approach differently. Uh, this character for me um, was really about uh, damage and addiction and uh, a need to um, escape the environment that he is in and, and the unfortunate circumstances that he's in. So it started, first of all, for looking for the vulnerabilities and, and most characters for me, I kind of try and find the damage uh, in the character that moves them forward. So that was a process and then obviously I chatted to Cindy uh, Lee quite a lot about the character and, and how we wanted to portray him in the script and my work always starts with the script because that's the story um, and then slowly like working with different actors and finding out their energies and then I, I drew my character largely from um, uh, the Eben's parents, Ilsa and Freddy, because um, I think sometimes as young people we live our lives in response to our parents rather than forging our own path. Uh, and so that's what I really wanted to kind of see in Eben was um, why does he respond the way that he does? It's, it's not coming from a place of individuation, it's coming from either I am like my parents or I, I don't want to be like my parents. It's been so interesting coming to Kamis Kroon because uh, I had an idea, you know, I grew up in a small town myself. But coming here, it's, it's interesting because it's so isolated. There is no escape, you know, if you don't have a car or finances, I think it's very difficult to leave. And so I think you end up making choices here, not because you want to stay, but because you can't leave. Um, and I think very much for this family is they, are left here to look after something that's supposedly a legacy, but it's a legacy that's an albatross around their necks and really kind of pulls them down and prevents them from being who they really are. It's been such a privilege to work uh, and still working at the moment with um, the actors in this project. They're completely generous and uh, they are submerged in their characters. Everyone's fully committed and it's quite a privilege to act opposite people in the show yeah I mean I'm always so excited when I um, you know when I, I first chatted to Cindy about the way that they were shooting it and, and the fact that it's single cam and a lot of it is handheld and kind of you know uh, I want to say almost like a documentary style because it feels more real um, and it's easier for the actor because I'm not having to be conscious of marks and hitting certain lights or whatever the, the the action or the emotion emotional drive of the scene determines the blocking um, and so he's been amazing about giving us the space to really like feel out these characters in the space in the home in the environment and uh, I mean for the first three days that I was I, I shot for one day and then I was off for four days and I just walked because you know my character spends a lot of the time walking and I got a real sense of that feeling of if you want to do anything or go anywhere, it, it's not, it's hard work. Um, and then slowly working with Dev, he's also just so, um, Devin the cinematographer, he's, he's um, completely immersed in the action and he has a great sensibility for catching moments and small moments, um, but not necessarily framing it in a way of, oh, here's a moment, there's a moment, we kind of can catch it in the background, which I always appreciate is, is the ability to play subtlety rather than obvious choices. We as South Africans don't always value our own stories, weirdly enough, uh, and it's been amazing to kind of work with a team that is, is, is trying really hard to tell this story truthfully and see value in, uh, in a project that can be set here with South African actors and South African directors and South African cinematographers and see the, the work that we can actually put out. Um, and it's been a privilege to kind of learn from everyone on this project because there is such passion behind it. Mm -hmm.